Shalom. We are continuing in Read and Learn, Psalm 27, Mizmor Kaf Zion. Ki yitzpineni besuko biyom ra'a. Ki is a conjunction, which means because, therefore, some different meanings. The yud prefix is a future tense, he will do something. This verb root, safan, means to hide. The ni suffix means me. The bet prefix means in. This word, sukkah, is a tabernacle. We know the holiday of Sukkot is the holiday of tabernacles. That dot for the o there means his. The bet means in. Yom is day. Ra'a is evil. Therefore, he will hide me in his tabernacle on the day of evil. Ki yitzpineni besuko biyom ra'a. Yastireni beseter ahalo, betsur yeromameni. The yod prefix is a future tense, he will do something. This root means to hide something. The ni suffix is for me. The bet prefix is for in. This is the noun that's associated with the verb satar to hide. Ohel is a tent. The vav suffix is his. Rather than in, we more likely would translate this on. Tsur is a rock. The yud is for he will. The root for this word is Resh vav mem. These hollow verbs conjugate a little bit differently. You can look at this video to help you understand it. It means to be high or lifted up. The knee is me. He will hide me in the secret place of his tent. On a rock he will lift me up. Yestireni beseter ahalo, bitsur yiramemeni. Ki yitzpineni besuko biyom ra'a, yastireni beseter ahalo, betsur yeromemeni. Viata yerum roshi. The vav prefix means and. This ata with an ayin means now. Don't confuse it with the ata with an aleph that means you. A future tense, he will. Again, we see this root conjugation for rum to be lifted up. Rosh is a word you probably know. It means head. The suffix means my. And now is lifted up my head. The ata yerum roshi. Al oivai sivivotai. Al is a preposition that means on. Oyev is a noun that means enemy. The suffix means my. The form that it's in makes the enemies plural. Saviv means around, and the suffix means me. Above my enemies around me, al oivai svivotai. Ve'ezbecha ba'ahalo zivche trua. This vav means and. This olive is a future tense. That means I will do something. This verb root means to sacrifice. This hay is a hay of emphasis in modern Hebrew college textbooks. 
They give it three different names for, depending upon the person of the verb. You might see it as cohortative, you might see it as jussive, you might see it as imperative. In modern Hebrew grammar, they only have one name for this hey, and that is hey hatnua, the hey of moving. They also use that name when it is what we call the locative or the directional hey. It is also called hey hatnua. But it just gives an emphasis to this verb. The bet is in, ohel is tent, the suffix o is his. This is the noun for sacrifice. You see it has the same root as the verb. This yud suffix shows that it's plural and that it is in the construct form. Jura is a loud noise of joy. You're familiar with the holiday Yom Trua, which is translated as trumpets. And I will surely sacrifice in his tent sacrifices of joy. Ve'ezbecha ba'holo zivche trua. Ashira ba'azamra liyehova. The Aleph prefix is a verb form, I will do something. Shear is to sing. Here is this hey of emphasis. Vav means and. The Aleph means I will. The Zamar is also to sing for joy. We've discussed this root before. It's the root for Mizmor, which is the name of Psalm. The hey of emphasis. Lamed is two. And yud heh is the name of God. I will surely sing and I will surely make music to Yehovah. This first word, Ashira, maybe you are familiar with the song from the Prince of Egypt. Ashira va'azamra li Yehovah. Ve'ata yarum roshi al oivai suvotai ve'ezbecha ba'ohalo zivchei trua ashira ba'azamra li Yehovah.